Ooh, I love the whistling. I love the whistling. This might be my favorite Mamamoo produced song. Even more than I Miss You and Maria. What is going on guys, Rahul here, aka Roz React, back again with another Mama Moo reaction. Now in this video I'm going to be checking out Weeyan's, um full mini album. Um, I think it's her second mini album? Or no, first mini album. I'm not sure, but um, I know it's not her first like album, whether it be mini album or album, because I'm pretty sure she has solos in the past. Um, but yeah, anyways, that was random, I don't even know if it's the first or second, whatever it is, um, it's her mini album, her latest mini album. Um, I'm gonna be checking out the entire album. Uh, I checked out the music video just recently, just now. I loved it, Watercolor was amazing. Um, it was a really unique video and some of the choreo and outfits and just visuals were just amazing. Um, so make sure to go check out my reaction to that if you haven't already. Um, Hopefully you guys enjoy that, but yeah, in this one I'm going to be checking out the rest of the album. I reacted to the live clips and teasers a few days ago, and I was really excited for the album, but mainly Butterfly. The Butterfly live clip just, it was so good. I'm so excited to get to Butterfly. I'm going to be checking it out in order, so I think it's Trash Ohu, which is from the point of view of her cat, apparently. I forget what the name of her, her name, her cat's name is. Starts with a G, I think, but um... Yeah, so it's no, it's trash, it's ohu, then it's butterfly, springtime, no thanks, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, so we're going to get right into the first one, which is trash, featuring PH1. This one also sounded kind of um, upbeat, or, or was that a different one? I don't remember from the live clips and teasers, but I do remember butterfly was really, really good. Um, but yeah, my dog is barking. If you guys can hear. So I'll be right back. I don't want him to be continuously barking throughout this reaction. So Alright, so my dog was barking at another dog. Um, so hopefully hopefully that other dog doesn't come. <laughs> and, um, you know, get him excited again. But, um, yeah, if he does start barking in the background, hopefully you guys don't mind. But anyways, let's get right into the first track, which is Trash. Featuring PH1. I remember saying I like the snapping. Yeah, this was definitely the, the upbeat one I was th thinking of. I like the let's not waste time. I like the flow. Ooh, I like the way she said Namorisoge. I like the way she sings that too. The entire flow of the song is really nice so far. My head is trash. It sounds like she's saying treasure. I thought she said treasure in the teaser. Oh. I like this guy. I like his flow a lot. It's your fault for being so lovely. Okay. I like that line. The corners of my mouth are by my ears. 
I think she said I'm smiling in, the, in another line. I'm confused at what the meaning of it is though. Trash, bad girl. I like the way she sings that. I like that background. I really like the background music throughout that song. Okay, well, okay, before I get into the next one, I just wanted to say, I feel like this song, um, the way she kept saying, singing trash, like, I don't know, I just thought the flow was really reminiscent of, like, an Ariana Grande song. Um, I don't know why. Isn't, isn't she a huge Ariana Grande fan, too? Or was that a different member? Or was that a different group? I don't even remember now, but, um, I swear, she gave me really... Um, similar vibes to her stuff so yeah that song was really good though I, I really enjoyed the background music and the flow of the entire song um, and again like I said it was a pretty upbeat song so I don't anticipate the rest of the songs being as upbeat as this especially based on the teasers that I saw I remember this one was the one I said I, I think is going to be most upbeat um, I love the PH1 too I don't know who that is is he part of a group or is he a solo artist let me know in the comments is he part of our bw i think it's rbw um let me know in the comments because i've never heard of him before um but i really liked him i thought his flow was really perfect for this style song too like i thought it was just he was the perfect feature um so yeah i really enjoyed that one um honestly if i'm going by songs i feel like i liked it more than watercolor um obviously watercolor is a completely different vibe and also, I wasn't paying as much attention to the song in Watercolor because of the visuals and stuff. So um, I'm going to have to take another listen to that. But it was a really that was also a really catchy song. But so far, both of the songs I've really liked. Um, the next one is Ohu. Again, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, from the perspective of her cat. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to try and pay more attention to the lyrics, though. Because considering it is from the, her cat's perspective, it, it's probably going to be pretty unique. Let's get right into it. Okay, straight off the bat, the guitar. I don't know if you guys know Rex Orange County, but it reminds me of his music. This one has snapping too. If anything sweeter than this, that's probably love. Shit, I haven't been paying enough attention to the lyrics. Ooh, I love the whistling. I love the whistling. Dude, it's literally Rex Orange County-esque. Like, I like it more than the butterfly dancing with the wind. What does the sketch resemble? I think she said that a few times. Makes my nose tingle. The beat. If anything sweeter than this, that's probably love. I like the line, but I'm 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 confused. Is the cat talking to we it? Is that a trumpet? I don't know what instrument that is, but I love it. Love, 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 
Again, that line. Also, I love the way she sang Let's Fall in Love. There's no whistling. There was only one scene or one part where there was whistling. I really enjoyed the whistling part though, whenever that happened. That was, um, oh who? Now that I think about it, I don't even remember her saying oh who ever. Um, and I don't remember her saying watercolor in, in watercolor. Uh, the only time, the only song so far out of the three that I've reacted to that I've heard her say the title of the song was Trash. Um, but yeah, this one was a nice song too. I didn't like it as much as Trash, but I really, I still enjoyed it. It was a really, really chill song. Um, obviously, considering it was, you know, from the perspective of the cat, which I didn't really understand how, um, unless the cat was, well, a few lines did point to that, like um, something about a butterfly and then the orange light, I'm assuming the sun. Um, so a few lines did did kind of show that it was from the cat's perspective, but um, what's it called? The whistling part of that song was my favorite part, maybe in the entire album so far. Like that specific part might have been my favorite part in the album, but in terms of overall songs, Trash is still my favorite. But yeah, this was a really, really chill vibe. Um, and I'm telling you, if you guys listen to Rex Orange County, this was literally Rex Orange County, except Korean and Wean and, and a female. So um, the guitar, the continuous kind of clapping, snapping um, beat, and then the whistling part. Oh, as soon as the whistling part hit, I was like, okay, yeah, definitely Rex Orange County vibes. And Rex Orange County is one of my favorite um, non-Korean artists. So I really enjoyed it because of that. So it was a really good song. All the songs are, are really good so far. She's an amazing vocalist anyway, so... I don't really know how she can make a bad song. It just comes to, you know, subjectivity. Because um, objectively, I don't think it's possible for her to make a bad song. But, um, yeah, that was the third track. Oh, who? Again, I don't know, but dude, I don't know if it's the right pronunciation, but the next one. Ooh, this is what I was, this is what I was excited for. Butterfly. We in featuring G Soul. Now, I didn't, I didn't know G Soul was a dude. Um, so... Because I don't think they, 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 I don't think he was in the live clip teaser. So, all right, Butterfly is what I was super excited for. I can't wait to check this out. Let's get right into it. Piano, the piano is so good. Okay, he's got a nice voice. The dawn and the dream that I cannot wake up from. Still only search for you. Okay, this part. Yo, perfect feature. I'm like 30 seconds in. No, I'm in a minute in. Oops. Yo, his part was amazing. The one that got away. Ooh. Okay, listen to this line. Listen to this line. Listen to the background. Did you hear the background? It was amazing. And the flow during that part was amazing.
This might be my favorite Mamamoo produced song. Even more than I Miss You and Maria. Can't get it over you, even when I struggle to grasp you, you're still like a butterfly. The vocals. The piano, the constant piano. Fly high. Okay. The lyrics. Fly high as a butterfly. Now I forget you. Oh my god. We're getting goosebumps from the vocal. You're like a butterfly. I don't know what she was saying, but that part. Wow. Yeah, definitely my favorite song in the album so far. Um, and definitely, well, I don't, I can't say definitely, but it's up there. It's in the top three um, songs for my favorite Mamamoo, like, produced songs. By, by that, I mean, like, a song that's come from a Mamamoo member or Mamamoo themselves. Um, my first one that I had that with was Maria by Huasa, and then... When I learned, when I heard, not learned, when I heard I Miss You, that one was above, um, above Maria. And now this one, I think, has ta has even gone above I Miss You. So, um, yo, I think that song just, it was just so perfect for Wean's vocals. Like, specifically to Wean's style and vocal, kind of, just her vocals in general. Like, just how she sounds, how she sings. I feel like that was the perfect sound, song, song. What the hell? I said song. <laughs> oh man, it really, it really got me. You could tell. I can't even speak properly. Um, but I want to just go back to the lyrics of it because I want to. I think there were a few. I think the overall kind of meaning of the song went over my head because I keep on getting greedy. I think I'm going crazy. Went crazy. <sighs> sorry, sorry. Let me just. Let me calm down. Okay. <laughs> I keep on getting greedy, I think I'm going crazy when I need you. Now that I found you, now that I found you, I can't wake up. That now that I found you, the way both of them sang it, that that's the main part of the song, I think. The now that I have found you, I'm not going to try it, but then you, um, that was embarrassing. But yeah, when they do that part, it's amazing. Um, and then I can't get over you, even when I struggle to grasp you, you're still like a butterfly. So that's... I feel like there's some deeper meaning to that. So you guys are going to have to help me with that meaning. But, yo, both of them did amazing, by the way. G-Soul as well. His vocals were perfect. Like I said, the, the features, both the features so far, PH1 and G-Soul, perfectly chosen for the, the vibes of each song. Um, but, yeah, and then the last the last few lines were, I get burned by your dream. I'm dying to survive. I'll erase these memories. And then fly high, fly high, fly high, fly high, fly high, et cetera. You get it. And then now I forget you erase these memories now i forget you fly high like a butterfly i just feel like uh there's a lot of meanings that i'm missing there so hopefully you guys can you know hopefully moomoos can help me with that um give me your own interpretation on that i don't really have a per interpretation i'll have to check it out again and then you know check out the entire song read the lyrics and get come up with my own full interpretation but i definitely see feel like those lines that i mentioned have something to do with the name of the song which is butterfly um but yeah, like I said, what a song. Definitely my favorite um, song in this album so far. But we still got two, so maybe that'll change. Um, springtime and No Thanks. And I think Springtime, people have been telling me in the comments of my teaser reaction that it's dedicated to Moo Moo's. So let's get right into it. Definitely. Okay. This for some reason has like 60s music vibes. Don't ask me how I know how 60s music sounds like, but it just feels like old music. 
I'm digging it though. Fills up the entire space, springtime. Are they talking about, is she talking about her and Moomoo's? If this is about Moomoo's, this is adorable. You're the scent of my life? The pedal on my shoulder. Whoa, the background music is cool. What the heck? You wave your small hand and greet me with your eyes. Is that like during concerts? That's cold down to my heart. Because of COVID? I feel like I'm just overthinking now, but... Again, another super chill, fun song. I like that part. The way she sings the Korean part of I want to give them to you. Is that wait? Oh shit. Listen. Okay, that was a little bit different. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I'm telling you guys, I'm I'm praying. I'm i I'm just praying there's at least one person who watches this video that listens to Rex Orange County because dude, like it can't just be me. He, this is so Rex Orange County vibes and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. The music, the the overall kind of just flow of it is just so Rex Orange County and I love it. So yeah, that was amazing. Another amazing song. So far this album has been so good. Um, but yeah, if that's about Moo Moo's, I might have been overthinking a lot of the lines and just since someone said that in the comments, if I remember correctly, I don't even know if someone said that in the comments, but if someone did, I might just be looking at every single line and trying to connect it to that. Um, so yeah, I might be overthinking a lot of things, but <laughs> don't mind that. Um, either way, if, I'm just going to assume it was about Moo Moo's because it really did seem like it was. And a lot of the lines were just adorable. Um, so she was just really, it was clear she was showing that her, her like gratitude, I guess, for, for Moo Moo's. So that was amazing. But yeah, that was springtime, really chill, fun vibes. Again, another, well, not fun, more like chill vibes. Um, I feel like trash was the most fun or like upbeat vibes, I guess you could say. But um, yeah, this was definitely a song you could listen to in springtime, though. So definitely has that kind of seasonal vibes to it. So that was springtime. Fourth, no, that was the fifth song. Now we're going to go and react to the last one, which I think, if I remember correctly from my teaser reaction, was the most like slow song. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. No thanks. It's also the longest song, I believe. Um, so it might be a slow song. We'll go, we'll see. No thanks. Yep. Sounds slow so far. Piano. Got a nice little piano. It's not that slow. I like the way she's saying nothing.
vocals are really good in this. No thanks? No thanks for what? I like the way she sings that, no thanks. If I hug you like this, will you melt down? Will I suffer? Oh, I like the way she said kumeso. The way she's doing that, like the. I'll do it, I'll show you what I mean if she does it again. What? Your lips which tease my miserable looking self? I like the ad lips. Vocals are probably the best in this song. Wow, I like that line. Okay, well, that was the last song, No Thanks, so I'm done the album. That's kind of crazy, I already finished six songs in, in the past like hour, I would, I would say. Um, so yeah, my first full album listen from like Mamamoo, because I haven't listened to Mamamoo albums yet. Um, so that was really cool, I really enjoyed that, that entire album. I'm not gonna lie though, No Thanks, I feel like... I feel like I didn't like it that much. It might grow on me. I might have to. I'm gonna have to listen to it again, of course, um, because there's so many songs in the past that have been I haven't really liked on the first listen, but then oh, like a few more listens later, and they're my favorite songs in that album. So um, I think vocally, though, I think like objectively, it was her best song. Like in terms of just her straight up vocals, I think she like her her vocals were on full display in that one. Um, it might be also because. It wasn't super slow, but I think it was the slowest song in the album so far, um, and uh, yeah, it was it it was pretty slow. So I feel like she she had more, you know, opportunity to display her vocals. I guess um, she had a lot of those fluctuating vocals, um, but halfway through the song, it did kind of grow on me. Like the ad libs and kind of the background music, it, it picked up just a little, um, and the background music was really was really nice, like the ad libs and everything. So. Yeah, it, her, her vocals were amazing as usual, but I just, I don't know, I, I feel like that didn't, song didn't stick with me as much as the other ones have, especially Butterfly and Trash. Those two, I think, were definitely amazing. And then Ohu, was it Ohu with the one with the whistling? I think it was. Um, that specific part, I think, still might be my favorite part, like 10, 5, tech, it's five to 10 second kind of sequence in a song. That or the main part in Butterfly, which was I never forget shit i don't remember but um i think you guys know what i'm talking about the one i tr attempted to sing absolutely horribly but yeah that part was amazing but yeah overall i really like the album um 
hopefully you guys, you know, enjoy this reaction. Uh, my first Mamma Move full kind of album listen, even though it was just one solo member, like one member's solo album is what I meant to say. But um, yeah, if there are any Moomoo's here, if there are any Wii in stands, if you guys enjoyed my reaction to that, if you want to see more Mamma Moo content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Make sure to comment down below any other recommendations. Make sure to go check out my Wii and watercolor music video reaction if you haven't already. Um, I'm going to have to listen to that song again just because I didn't pay as much attention to the songs. I mean, the song as much as the video. Well, as much as these songs because there was a video too. So I was distracted, you know, I had a mix of both. So these ones, I got the, a chance to listen to the songs alone and then read a bit of the lyrics. Um, of course, I missed a lot of lyrics and I probably missed a lot of hidden meanings. So make sure to let me know in the comments below as well if I missed anything, you know, kind of major, some really cool things in the video in terms of the meaning. Um, and yeah, make sure to just leave a comment, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what your, your favorite song is in the album. Um, I'd love to know that, you know, get some discussion going if I if I can reply to the comments, hopefully. But um, yeah, again, if there are any moo moves here, if you guys enjoyed my reaction to that, if you want to see more, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.